What's going on, guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the fantasy drafted Anaheim Ducks, and we're picking up where we left off here. Just getting into the new season here. 11 15 and 0. Uh, not a complete tank team, but we're definitely down there. And uh, trying to decide uh, directions to go. Now, before we, uh, before I start, you know, before I start moving things, and especially Kane. Because uh, that's the main thing that we're still most likely going to move at the deadline. Because I don't think we're going to be in the playoffs or anything like that. Um, I actually just noticed he has low chemistry with Yager. So maybe I don't want him on the line. I, I was I was thinking about ways I can mix up the lines here. But uh, whatever. I'm, I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Before we decide to, to do like the trade guys like that for more picks. I'm going to try to get a... Some kind of goalie bump. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to put, like, too much into it. And I'm still going to acquire picks as I get a slightly better goalie. But I think I have one in mind that might work. Affordable. And, uh, yeah, only one year on the contract. And he's, you know, not not incredible, obviously. But he's looking like he's simming decently enough. It is as a backup. But, yeah. All right, let me first off to actually find it. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot what team he's on. But, uh. Oh, there's actually a couple here. Talbot is available, but I don't know if I want to go for him. He's not doing bad. 12 games played as opposed to 17. He's actually doing decent. I don't know. Uh, he usually, I've never seen him sim that well in this game. He does have a decent defensive core. All right, well, I'm going to I got to try to remember where I saw. I, I was thinking it was oh, I think it's here. I think uh, yeah, okay. I was thinking about Ryan Miller. Now, it's one year left at 2 mil, that's really nothing, and he's doing pretty well. I know he's only played three games and stuff like that, but it's it's an idea to put him here. And it wouldn't cost us that much. I could throw in this guy, this starting goaltender we just picked up, and then try to get their first round pick. And I think that would be the best thing that we could try to go after. Now, it'd be pretty tough to get it. They don't they don't want this guy. The value's too low. But I'm going to see what they say to this. Oh, uh, yeah. And value's not... Or the return isn't interesting. Doesn't match the block. Whatever. We have a couple later picks we could throw in. I'm pretty sure these years later picks won't be that great. Could be wrong, but... Yeah, I, don't, I actually don't think we have any unsigned guys to chuck in either. Besides that one goalie. So that's out of the question. It'll have to most likely be a pick to try to get something back. So I'll try to throw in some things. It's, it's not going to get even anywhere close. Even with the 5 and the 6 in there, I don't think. So we might not be able to get that first. In which case, I'd probably be better suited to grab a younger goalie. Yeah, maybe a bit of a younger goalie with a, maybe some more return value. Maybe a chance to get statistical growth. Like I was thinking about Subban before. Or maybe even Talbot at this point since he's on the block. So um, I'll, I'll look around for some more options. Alright, so I'm going to try something like this. I'm going to go after Subban. He's not having the greatest year, but he's really cheap. And, you know, maybe with our team he does well. I don't know. Maybe our D... I think I looked at their defense. Their defensive core is really not that good in Arizona. Ours is, you know, slightly better. And maybe we have... I don't know. <laughs> And they do have two injuries to their defense right now, too. So, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt, Subban stats. And try to get a third in here as well. I don't think I'll be able to, but I want to try to get some kind of picks in here. Yeah, if it's not going to be a third, I'll have to look into future years then. Because I don't want any of the late, late stuff from this year. I don't think it's going to be that good. So, I guess I'll go to 2000, either 20 or 21. We'll try 21. So, we'll get some picks from there. So... Yeah, let's see what this turns out to be. They still don't want that. Not quite. Can we get later picks at all? Or can we even get Subban at all? They don't want to give us Subban at all. So, that's a bit unfortunate. We might end up having to go for Talbot or something weird like that because he's on the block. It's just, I don't want to give up that much and we don't have that much value anyway. Alright, well, for this to go through, we need them to retain on the salary. If they don't want to retain on the salary, there's really no way we can even make this go through. They don't want our goalie. Um, yeah, they don't want to retain the salary. So, I'm not too sure. I, I don't know if we can make this go through anymore. We could throw in the, this Wallin guy. And I might do that too, just, just for the extra value. We really need him to retain right here. Because if they don't, we're... I mean, we, we'll have to, like, make some moves and stuff, and I'm not... I don't really want to do that. 
All right, the trade looks fair, but they don't want to retain the salary. That sucks. If I remove picks, can you guys? No, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we could do it. All right, I'm going to go one more time after Miller and that first. I think that still could be a decent chance for us. And we won't have to do any sort of salary retention or anything like that. It could could uh, so, sort of work out for us. I don't know that it will. But I'm going to try it with the third in here now. See what they say to this. <sighs> Quite far off still. I mean, damn. All right, we're going to go one more shot at the first. Try it with our second in there and see what they say to that. Okay. I'm. A, you know what? I won't, I won't, I'm not too upset about that. We move our second to a first. So... That should be okay, and we get something that we could use right now, Ryan Miller. And we could turn that first into an elite, even if they're, you know, even if they're late. You know, you can get some good stuff late with those firsts. Could be some elites lurking. So, all right, we get ourselves uh, a goaltender that we need. Desperately. And then, I think, actually, we're going to have quite a few extra. Because... We got Gustafs and Holland, and someone's going to have to get moved down. So Holland could get scratched for a bit, which is not great for him, but. Yeah. I'll most likely move Hammond down. I can keep him scratched, but. There's no real use in that. I might as well move him down. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Alright, so. Let's figure that out. And then those guys, some of those goalies, we can make trade at the uh, deadline for uh, picks and stuff like that then. Won't be too bad. So we'll bring up Miller. We'll send down Hammond. Hammond's got to clear waivers. Ooh. Well, that'll take salary off my hand. If if he doesn't clear, you know, he doesn't clear. But he did. He did. So. Yep. He's down there. Alrighty. Cool. So that'll work. And now we have a slightly better goalie. Like I said, I wasn't going to go too crazy. I didn't want to give up too much value. And I still wanted to obtain something that we could use for the future in this trade. It's just, may, what if, you know, he can be slightly better? And the main thing is, it's we, we, we want to put Demko in this correct role at this point. He doesn't seem to be doing well in the starting role. So, no need to keep pushing him there. And this. Hoping, hoping Sprong might get a jump here to to help out but yeah our first line was struggling like really really badly so i'm going to try marlow back up there which was our combination the year before kane's going to be playing with yager they're not they don't they don't like each other that much but hopefully they can deal with it but <laughs> if not then well whatever we'll figure that out so all right we're gonna continue here that's a we'll make the trade right there we'll see how we do after this and then we'll kind of reassess probably as we go maybe at the deadline i just want to see what happens with this team maybe we do worse maybe we do better but we're it's you know, we those start those yellow starters. In my opinion, you can find those quite easily in these coming drafts, and those aren't those guys aren't who I like to make my starting goaltenders anyway. Very rarely will I ever make one of those a starting goaltender in my team. I you know I like to go for the elites, obviously. Um, yep. Okay, that's all the qualifying offers. Mumbo jumbo. All right, so there's a loss. Let's, I just want to see what our goal sc scoring is going to be like, because that's that's what I, what we need to actually have get better. Is like that goal. Well, it's looking pretty good. Uh, Trevor Daly is available playing the next. Team. Okay. Wait till he's fully healed. Interesting. We're scoring a lot here since uh, since that change on this first slash second line. Marlowe's only got one goal, one assist since then, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe everyone else is doing stuff. Who knows? All right, anyway, defense, so Cronwall. All right, so what am I going to do here? Oh, he was here, huh? Yeah, okay. I was just trying to trying to remember where the hell he was. I think he's there, and then... Who was my... I'm trying to remember who the, what the hell my combinations were. We're still missing Riley. I guess Pullman was my... Oh, yeah, we had two. That's right. We had two defense for depth, and we don't have any forward depth. <laughs> that's right. All right, I was just trying to remember what the hell was going on. So instead of Pullman, I could put in Girardi here and hope that he's a bit better. Pullman hadn't been bad. I mean, he's a plus eight. He's taken 15 penalty minutes. He might be a fighter. We could tie Girardi in there. A bit more experienced. No penalties taken. Yeah, we'll do that. He's slightly better. So we're going to do that now. <laughs> That's our offensive core. We're waiting for Morgan Riley to get back still. 
All right, so that should be good. And we've been uh, we've been on a bit of a tear right now. All right, we're getting a lot of decent goal scoring, and we're winning a lot of games hilariously. So hey, oh, are we just gonna catapult ourselves back into the playoffs? Or are we gonna be like sort of still in the between our team? I don't know. It's a good question, but I mean we've definitely improved. I don't know if it's the line changes or the acquiring the goalie, but I mean we weren't scoring that this much before. I know that. I know we weren't doing that, so at least our goal scoring is kind of getting taken care of. But inconsistency and lack of good defense and obviously solid goaltending is the biggest thing. But we're almost getting Morgan Riley back. Morgan Riley now is fully healed. So, I mean, now at this point, our defensive core is looking pretty damn good again. Morgan Riley's back everywhere he needs. Just going to double check all that. Four man, there he is. Penalty kill. Yep, yep. I'm just making sure I didn't screw anything up. I don't think I did. But just in case. Yeah, it's all looking good. Alright, cool. A few more assists since then. Oh, wow. A lot of assists. Interesting. Trying to kind of see how our lines are doing. What's uh, what's going on? Doesn't look like Evander Kane's doing such a great job no matter where he plays. Like I said, probably has a lot to do with him not doing, being so good with Yager. I might actually try Sprong up there. I don't want to play him too much, and I do want him to grow successfully, but he's... Those are really good numbers. Are you declining? No, you... No. Oh, yeah, he's probably... Yeah, he actually is declining. Hopefully he retires. Or hopefully we can move him. Alright, well... Let's... I guess we could try this out. See how this works. Just, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of experimenting here. <laughs> I just just trying everything. Uh, that was just a minor injury to Kronval. That's good. We don't need another major injury here. All right, we're a plus team now. Twenty and tw nineteen. No overtime losses. Very interesting. So all right, there's Sprong leading points with thirty nine, and we're uh, actually really close to a playoff spot now. That's pretty funny. Yeah, Sprong's wrecking face and points, man. Where are we at? Yeah, oh. Yeah, that's not a great ratio, <laughs> obviously. Not doing so well. Even if we make the playoffs, we're not going to do that great. So I might as I might actually just start moving Kane right now. Like, we're just trying to figure out a way to get that first line going, really. To hopefully get Eichel to grow more. I don't know that we will, though. It's good with Marlowe. This guy doesn't like all the young guys. He doesn't like Eichel either or Nylander. What the hell's wrong with you, Yager? <laughs> Loves Marlowe, though. He's just old and grumpy, man. Alright, well... First line is just horrifically minus. Oh, Dadanov is listed as first liner. So maybe I should go back to how I was before, even though we were sucking. At least, like, damn. At least it seemed like our second line was doing pretty good. And I got Yager on the third now. Maybe, I, And if I do that, I'll probably switch it back like that. But Miller's not doing too bad. I mean, <laughs> those are still pretty decent numbers. Oh shit, did I I don't think I put uh I don't think I put our goalie in. <laughs> I know he cleared waivers, but I don't I'm not, he's not starting. I know that. That's my bad. Oh well. Not a big deal. So it's, it's only Hammond. Ooh, that guy's getting some points. He's not even a real guy. See that? He's some crappy guy. But hey, maybe he's helping out Dal Call and uh Brooks here, which would be very beneficial. Alright, so we'll put Hammond in there. He's fucking pissed. Probably a bunch of my fault for not actually putting him in there. Alright, and I think we'll swap things back around here. So we can do with this power play here. What have you done on the power play? Three points only. Alright, we're going to give Sprong that shot. And maybe for the power play we'll go with Marlowe. 
Hmm, not a whole lot of shots. Eichel takes a lot of shots, but... I might stick with Kane then. Yeah, I think that's what it'll have to be. Let's try that for our power play. I don't know. Again, I'm not trying to be an amazing team or anything, but I'm just trying to improve production in certain areas. Just to kind of have guys get better seasons and hopefully they do well. But yeah, Sprong leading our team in points is quite surprising. It's pretty impressive, to be honest. But All right, let's get another month done here and see what we're looking like. And yeah, like I said, I'm probably still going to move Kane at the deadline no matter what. I don't think he's going to be... Oh, well, now he's injured, so there you go. <laughs> January 13th. Luckily, that's not too long. We're in January right now. But it's still a thing, and it sucks. Well, luckily, I might probably go and go with Girardi here. <laughs> Yeah, he's slightly better offensively. All right, put him on the third line. What is that? Oh, three on three. Yeah. Do the same thing, maybe. Yeah. Three on three. We'll risk it. Again, I'm not trying to be an amazing team. I just want certain guys to produce. So I don't really care if I'm stuffing wrong guys in the wrong places. It's all fine. If we tank, we tank. We get picks. I'm only going to go two weeks there. Yeah, we're losing a bit. Uh, Mark Mathot now got, oh my goodness, post-concussion syndrome. He's gone for a long, long time. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of major injuries this year. Callan Foote's an 81. Holy, he is growing. Hold on a minute then. Is he top for you? Yes, he is. Okay, I'm moving him up then. Screw it. Daly is going down. I don't really care, dude. Get Callan Foote to grow because he's, he's catapulting. He really is. I don't know what kind of player he's going to be, but we'll see. Get him into the top four now. Another L right there. So we might be taking a lot of L's here, which is obviously makes a bit of sense. We also have a defenseman playing forward. <laughs> Sam Pen Jesus Christ! Come on now. Enough is enough. I thought we were done. But no. You gotta lay that one on me. Jeez, man. That one's pretty rough. Because he's kind of everywhere. Try Yamamoto. And then stuff someone random in. Again. Do it, Girardi. Take face-offs. <laughs> Alright. Well then. <laughs> the injury bug has definitely hit us hard, but at least we are getting gr growth. Petrus Palmy has been injured. I just need, need to check where he's playing, so I can Okay. I figured we would be there. But I want to make sure that who we're putting in, I'll at least recognize the name. Do we have anyone who's actually slightly grown at all? Probably not. No, none of them. So I'll just put the best one in, I guess. Just do him in there. All right. Well. It's seen. God, Jesus Christ, man. That's. This is a little overkill. I've never had this many injuries. I, I don't even want to call anyone up, man. I have to call someone up like, like I'm not playing. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Screw it, dude. At this point, we might as well just tank with how many goddamn injuries we're having. It's really terrible. I don't know. Oh, it's a Dia guy I brought up. Yeah, whatever. Christ, man. <laughs> I just... Oh, was he really... Was he really playing? Okay. That guy was playing. It wasn't even really growing, I don't think. Screw it. There we go. Alright, are we quite done? Can we just get some of our guys back? That's probably the worst stretch of injuries I've had. I always feel like I need to double check that I'm still on 2020, but I know for a fact I am. That's what I said it as, so... It's just all at once. Which is horrible. Like, it's, I don't even care that, you know, that we're doing, gonna do bad for him. It's just freaking annoying. It's just screwing up my. Just everything I'm trying to do with the lines and stuff like that. Here we go. Bennett's finally back. Good. We start getting 
Our team... Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. That's... Hold on, hold on. How did I do it? Okay. Oh, that's right. There we go. So, yeah, we get Bannock back, finally. Let's do that. And we still got that guy playing down there. Plus, Midas has gotten slightly better. Not much, but slightly. Spetchnikov's available. You know what? I'm going to put him in there, because he shouldn't play before that next game. Send that Langdon guy back down. That was annoying. Send him down. All right. Just waiting on Mathot to get better now. And we're almost back to quote-unquote normal. But my goodness. Jesus, Yager's doing terrible. I wonder if I should go. Our whole second line's doing pretty bad. Yeah, our entire team's doing bad. <laughs> I don't know if I should try Sprong up there again. I'm going to do it for lols. Who cares? All right. Well, yeah, he didn't. I don't I don't know if that was before or after the game, but he's fully healed and no other injury. 25, 25, and 1. Yikes. And who's leading in points now? Have we just completely dropped off? Is it still Sprong, but with his minimal? No, it's now Eichel. He's jumped up there. 41 points. And we're still four points out of playoffs, yeah. We're not completely tanking, but... We're gonna be after the deadline, most likely. We're not gonna make the playoffs, which is fine. We're gonna have some decent picks. We might even win the lottery. Hell, you never know. We might get lucky. Let's actually see what that other our other pick is looking like, so they kind of give us an idea. Probably not gonna be that great. That's my luck. I don't even remember who we traded with and what it was. Why'd I do that? Mmm... Oh, uh, the Sharks, and yeah, they're kind of looking like a decent team, so, I don't know. We can still move Kane for something. It won't be, it'll have, if we move Kane, I'll probably make it for, hmm, I'm trying to think. Oh my god, what the hell? Dadamov is terrible too. What, I, I gotta check what the hell is happening with our point scoring thing here, because it's really weird. With he's got 41 points, Dadanov didn't even have that much. Hell's going on? <laughs> I'm curious about what's what's going on. Yeah, 32, man. Really not good. Sprong's doing really... He's up to an 81. I think it's morale, though, but I'm still going to keep him there. See how he does in that second line. First line's doing really, really bad. Yeah, really bad. Although, I don't know. I mean, if Kane can just score some friggin' goals... He shoots a decent chunk. Like, it's not bad at all. He's with Eichel and with Ristolainen and, you know, Riley on the point. You'd think he'd maybe get a bit more. Yeah. How's our... Uh, Miller is still doing decent for what we got him as. And Demko. He's, it looks like he's actually grown up to an 81. That looks like natural because it doesn't. I don't see any arrows on him. or may, I don't know. I actually need to check that because that could be good for us. Yeah, if he's growing, that's great news, man. Hopefully he gets another nice jump in the offseason. Hopefully better than the one he just got. So let's check that out. Uh, Callan, holy crap, Callan Foots had an 83 now. Yeah, Thatcher Demko is indeed growing. Good. That's good for us. All right, all right. So at least we're getting growth. And my goodness, is Callan Foot a monster right now? And Svechka's growing, Bennett's growing. Uh, Sprong's growing a bit. Yamamoto's only grown so much. Not that much. But he is only, he is 20, he's still at 77, so it's not terrible. I do like that Nylander and Svechnikov are growing a decent chunk. That's good for us. Nielsen's already declining. If I could try to move him at the deadline, I will. Suzuki's grown a bit. Not too much growth in our system, unfortunately. I was hoping for a bit more. But Yule Levy's grown. 20 years old now, 76 overall. That's good for us. He might need to get moved at the top two time, which I'll... Definitely do. Gustafsson's got a bit. Alright. Let's see. I want to check that out in the AHL. To see if he's uh, actually ready for top two time. I think he should be with that overall. 76. It's close, but I think he... Oh, he's actually listed as depth, so definitely going to want to move him up. <laughs> Definitely would want to do that. Keep Hunwick what he's doing. He's got two years left on that price. So we can keep him around. Let's 
let's do that. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> foot's development is shocking. And it's really and really freaking good. Really high awareness, not so good at passing, but his his defense isn't amazing either. But it's I don't know where he caps out as it could be pretty good. I don't know. It's quite interesting to see what this guy's development's looking like. Yeah, he either is going to become a trading asset if he gets too good, or he's just he's just going to be a freaking really, really good top four for us, and that's we <laughs> we could use that. All right, well, huh? I'm just uh, mulling around in my head what I'm thinking my game plan should be like here. Because we're right at the deadline. Do I still have more one more game to go? Oh, we have a bunch more games. We're not at the deadline yet. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I was like, wait a sec. I, don't, I didn't think we were, but I was like, this video's gone by fast. But no. All right, so there's another L. Nice W there, man. I don't I don't know. We're like right on the cusp, but I don't think... I, I think it's just better we trade the guys I'm thinking about trading. Kane, all this other stuff. I don't think it's going to be hugely beneficial to hold on to him, and I signed Kane for the sole purpose of probably trading him and using his value for something, so maybe look for a team who looks like they could be really, really bad uh, next year and, tra and like, grab, you know, like, a first or something like that from a few years from now or find a team with bad contracts, but I don't know if a lot of teams like that will exist. It's hard to kind of pick on teams like that in the fantasy draft because you're not sure where they all came. Um, potential seventh, no, probably not. No, I'm just going to say no to that. All right, yeah, a few more L's here. Probably going to fall below 500, which is kind of the writing on. The writing's been on the wall kind of this whole year. We're hovering around 500. And that's obviously not amazing. Yeah, in our, we're in a division where it's close to the playoffs, but I don't think so. I think we should just prob just move Kane. Yeah, Jack Eichel is doing all right, but yeah, we're three we're three points out of the playoff spot. There's quite a few teams sort of below us, but if we drop off now, we might be able to drop below a few others. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Deadline here, I think we should probably move Kane since we signed him the one year only. That's a movable contract as well, six mil for that kind of player. Definitely movable. Uh, Dad and off, we still have another another year on, so we don't need to worry about that. Eichel's Eichel. Bennett, though, is actually looking like he will be a bona fide second liner. 83 overall now. Sprong, I really like, and I'm thinking good synergy between Bennett and Sprong in the future. They would just need, like, a pure goal scorer between them because oh, he actually takes a decent chunk of shots, does Sprong. We'll see how he kind of produces. Doesn't have the strongest shot, accuracy-wise, but really good offensive stats. Yeah, I'm kind of digging the synergy between those two. Because Bennett's kind of hilariously more hybrid than Sprong looks so far. So if they get like a pure goal scorer, could work out really well for him. And that's what we'll kind of, I mean, maybe that's Svechnikov, maybe that's Dalk Hall, you know, we don't know. Svechnikov with 12 goals, 2 assists, I mean, hey. <laughs> Anyone got an improved? Oh, he's listed as third line scorer, so I'll probably want him to shift him up then. Yeah, didn't actually notice that. And we'll shift around Yager. I don't think Yager likes Neilander, but too fucking bad, man. He doesn't like anyone. I want to put him in their roles, though. Or with this, we could move... No, that wouldn't really make sense. I was going to say move Sprong back and Yager back up. I mean, it might make sense. If we are going to go that tank route, that's probably what we, we want to do then. Is move Sprong back down to where his natural role is. Hopefully this line can, you know, have a good going of it and then we could still give him some power play time we could even start putting Nylander on the power play or even Svechnikov as a shooter bunch of options but that's kind of where I'm at I'm liking our development we have Girardi I could play him instead of Pullman but yeah might as well actually no actually screw it this guy's actually grown you never know you never know if he'll improve Daly's not going to be happy with his ice time, most likely, whatever. Everything else, though, not bad. 
I'm just thinking if I should Cronwall or Daylip there. That's a tiny thing. I'm not even worried about it, really. All right, yeah. Miller keeps getting worse, but that's kind of what's going to be expected. We got him just to kind of be the starter ahead of Demko and hopefully give Demko more of a chance to get towards his potential. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We're going to take a look at our trade screen right now, see what kind of value we have. But I think we should be making some sizable trades here. Now, since we have three firsts from this year, I don't want to go too too heavy in one year of drafting, just in case it's not... Ooh, yeah, Columbus is looking like a good team, but San Jose might actually... No, they're in our division. Our division is looking... Well, I couldn't really... I don't remember where they were, actually. Okay, well... Their pick we're obviously not going to be able to get. You need to try to look for a team who's going to... It just looks like they have issues. That's what I'm thinking of. Bad contracts, stuff like that. All right, let's go. So Bishop, Reimer. Bishop's contract isn't horrible. Dro, no, these contracts are pretty. Yeah, these contracts are real good. So, oops. Barkov. I just want to sort by all their contracts. Stall. That's a bad contract. Akpose was a bad contract. Okay, hold on. Uh, Freddie Anderson's a pretty good contract, though. Dell is good as well. They do have Carlson as... Yeah. Tough to tell. I mean, they're obviously good this year. They're very good this year, so... It's really no guarantee that they're gonna... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind of team we're gonna look for, but... <laughs> it's actually kind of a tough call. It's a lot harder to do it with, uh, obviously not to a team where McDavid is. Unless they have a bad year again, but I, I highly doubt that they would. Yeah, I think Sharks make the playoffs. Especially in our division. Taylor Hall, no, Warensky, those guys are all young. Yeah, I don't know, it's... We, there might not be that team, we might just have to trade Kane for a risky first for from a few years or whatever. Just might have to be how it goes down. Ooh, Duchesne unhappy. Really unhappy. Whoa, Matheson, eight years at that. What the hell were they thinking? <laughs> what? That is a weird trade. At least they got Klingberg real high for, like, good cash, but... That's really bad. I don't know what they're doing. Later signed for four years at that price. So, I mean, they got him. They got a Goldie locked up for four years. No real backup right now. They have 14 mil of cap available. So, I mean, they're not... They're not in terrible shapes. <laughs> they still have that much cap available. Yeah, I don't know what kind of team I'm... I'd have to find a team with a good mix of contracts like that or just aging aging players well if they want to sign any of these guys left to chalk up a little oh, hold on a lot of guys with one-year deals tons of guys with one-year deals but they're gonna to have to get signed kutrov he's gonna eat up a lot if they want to sign any of these guys which i'm sure they will want to sign at least a few of them they're all most of them gonna take need uh payment upgrades but they'll still be a kind of a good they'll be a good team I mean, Kucherov, Zetterberg is a really, really bad contract, but huh. maybe New Jersey is the team to try to go for. They got Quick, maybe declining, but he is on a really good contract. Decent goaltender situation, so I don't know. I, I don't know, but I do think that we should be trading Kane's value here at the deadline. Because that's a decent chunk. We could get a, a good first in there for that. Maybe even some more picks. And I think that should be the move we make. We can do that and off next year. And we could draft really, really heavily throughout the next few years. And really get some good return value. But yeah, I mean, like I said, we don't have to... The, the pick we get back to Kane doesn't have to turn into an amazing lottery pick for us. It'd be nice if it did. And that's what you kind of try to look for. But it doesn't have to. I mean, if we get a decent return on it, 
then it's still worth it since we got Evander Kane for free anyway. So yeah, give me all those trade ideas. I think we're going to have a very busy trade deadline here. At least moving him, probably shifting some stuff around, trying to get some more prospects, maybe moving some of those goalies. And uh, who else knows, man? But yeah, the next these next few years are going to be very busy trade-wise and draft-wise. So get excited, guys. It should be good. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you be sure to go over there on twitter and shoot me a follow and you could even join our discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there the links to both are in the description